Hello there, YouTubers and train collectors alike. This is Calvin Urban. <coughs> I'm tired as fuck right now. It's actually after 12:30 in the morning here. It's Saturday, the um, uh, the 20, 29th, I believe. I've had hard fucking days work. I've been up since fucking 5:30, 6 o'clock early this morning and I'm fucking shit tired. I wanted to give a shout out to my friend, my good friend and fellow Lions, Pulse War Lionel collector and YouTuber, train fanatic. Hey buddy, I told you I'd give you a shout out. Uh, I'm gonna, this is going to be a real quick video guys. I was planning on running my 2016 and my 2018 to show you guys I got them fixed but I just didn't have the time today to do it. But I will show you something I've done though to them. Um, you can probably see there's no chipping on them now. It's like when they're chipping on these engines, like a lot of chipping on them, like like where there's a lot of paint missing off of them. Well, there was. You're probably thinking, did you repaint them? No, I didn't even paint them. I did not even repaint these engines. Here, I'll show you. See, there's no spots on them, no chipping, no nothing, and there was a lot of chipping around the cab and stuff, a lot of chipping around the marker lights, a lot of chipping around the stack, steam chest, valve guides, push her back now, she's scraping, <coughs> and this whole area here was chipped up here and here that looks she looks brand new so you guys are probably wondering if I didn't use paint then what the fuck did I use to fix them well I'll tell you guys I was on an O gauge model railroading forum a few days ago and this guy was talking about um, a miracle tool he used to fix chipping on his Pulse 4 steam locomotives and I was really surprised by it and it was a Sharpie permanent marker a black permanent marker and he says you just touch up the chips on the engine and stuff and it blends in with the original paint now if I can show you where it's at where is it at um oh Elastigirl got it hey Elastigirl can I please have this can I please have it? Thank you. <laughs> She's my assistant. This is what I used right here. Just a plain, basic, black, Sharpie pen, fine point. See? Fine point marker. And what you would do with it is, you take it, you color in the spots, that are bare metal and stuff and it blends right into the paintwork. Right, let me show you. If you guys remember the 2016 before, it was all chipped up. Can't tell there's not even a spot left on her. So, it's done pretty well. You know, that trick really worked and I forget the guy's name was on that model railroading form, but that was a really fucking good idea. <coughs> so, I hope you guys can use this tip and to fix the chips and marks on your trains because this is what I'm going to use from now on when I get any old more post war steam locomotives that have bad nicks and chips on them. I'm just going to fill them in with this and it works just really good. So I hope you enjoy it. Leave me any comments and the, you know, leave me any ideas and comments in the section below. Give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell. I would appreciate it. You know, I'm over 350 subscribers, which is great. I'd like to see 500 next. That'd be awesome, but I don't know. Until next time, this is Commodore saying that full steam ahead for you guys. and Just enjoy life.